Hey first graders! So since we are not getting our story time at school, I thought we could try some online story time with Mrs. Farkas. So I'm going to start off with this book. It is called Do Not Lick This Book. It's full of germs. So I want you to take a minute, think what you think this book is going to be about, and let's see if you were right. Do not lick this book. It's by Iden Ben Bark and Julian Frost. This is Men. Men is a microbe. She's small, very small. Can you see this little dot on the page? Microbes are so small that 3,422,167 of them could fit on that dot. Microbes live everywhere in your intestines, in the air, in your sock, on a trumpet, in the bottom of the sea, Antarctica, underground, on elephant's knees, in your breakfast, on top of Mount Everest, inside this fish, up a nose, and just over there. Men, that microbe, lives in this book. And if you could look really, really, closely, you would see her. This is a photo of paper, really close up. Min says, I'm bored. Are any of you feeling bored right now? I hope not. Let's take Min on an adventure. Do you see the circle on this next page? That is where Min lives. Touch the circle with your finger to pick her up. So we, I want all of you, you can reach out and touch the circle. We're going to take men on a little adventure with us. Men is now on your finger. This is a zoomed up picture of your finger really close. And there's men on the bottom saying, away we go. Where should we take men first? Well, men says, take me to your teeth. Okay, so let's go. Open up your mouth and carefully touch your front teeth with your finger. Now we're going to look really, really closely. This is a photo of a tooth really, really close up. Whoa, this place is weird. I'm Min, what are you guys up to? I'm Ray, we are digging cavities. Oh no, cavities in your teeth. Can I get some ice over here? Do you want to help? Oh no, let's eat some more candy. What a strange place teeth are when you look really, really closely. No wonder it is such a good idea to brush them. It is time for Min's next adventure. So let's pick Min up. Go ahead and touch Min and we can pick her up. There we go. It looks like you have picked up Ray, one of those digging cavities as well. Where should we go next? Would you like to visit a shirt, Ray? A shirt? All right, guys, let's explore your shirt. Put your finger on your shirt and you are going to send Min and Ray on a new adventure. Let's look really, really closely at your shirt. This is a photo of fabric, really close up. I'm Min and this is Ray. We're on an adventure. It's nice to meet you. My name's Dennis. We are making this shirt really smelly. Oh no, we found a clean patch. Can you give me some, can you give me a hand spreading all this dirt around? What a strange place shirts are when you look really, really closely. No wonder we need to keep washing them. Now it is time for Men and Ray's next adventure. Let's go ahead and pick them up. So you can go ahead and touch your finger on there. We're gonna pick them up out of the shirt. Dennis, one of those shirt germs has come along too. We have time for one more trip. Where do you think we're gonna go next? Shall we go visit a belly button, Dennis? What is a belly button? All right, well, off we go. Min says, put your finger in your belly button and you can wiggle it all about. Now let's look really, really closely and see the germs in there. This is a photo of skin really close up. Hello, we are Min, Ray, and Dennis. I'm Jake. Welcome. We do not get many visitors down here in the belly button. 
What a strange place a belly button is if you look very closely. No wonder it could get itchy. Put your finger back here and we need to get right out of here. Ray says, well, that was fun. Now I would like to go back to my book, please. Can we come? What is a book? I think it's time for men and their friends to go back in the book. So here is a good spot for them to go. So how about you touch your fingers here? There's plenty of room for everyone. So go ahead and touch your finger back to that dot. Back in they go. Where will you take men tomorrow? So that is the end of this book, all about germs. So we just learned that germs can travel everywhere. So it is very important to not lick this book or to like anything else. And I think we need to, especially as we are home right now, it is very good to keep washing your hands really, really well so we don't spread those germs. And remember, just like Miss Morgan taught us, we do not wash our hands like this. We gotta make sure we get in between our fingers and our fingernails and our thumbs too, and the backs and fronts of your hands. It's important to get all of it. Make sure you're using soap. Well, that was our read aloud for today. Bye, first graders.